नमस्कार दिस इज इन कंटिन्युएशन विथ आवर सीरीज स्पोर्ट्स आयुर्वेद सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस सम कन्सेप्ट द सेम लिनिएज वी विल बी कंटिन्युइंग विथ टाइप्स ऑफ बल एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस काल जपल सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग टुडे काल जपल so what is college of alor you can see on the slide basically bala is rasadinam shukrantanam dhatuna yat param khalu tejah ta khalu oja ta deva pal that is in our context that is in the context of ayurveda what is bala प्रसादीनाम शुक्रांता धातू यम बल तत् ओज दट ईज ओनली ओज ईज बल फॉर अस दे हैव रिटर्न स्वशास्त्र सिद्धांत दिस इज अवर अवर एजम्शन और अवर टेकन ग्रैंटेड सिस्टम ना नेक्स्ट सो ऑर्डर फर्स्ट थिंग इज क्लियर नाउ ऑर्डर द टाइप्स और फैक्टर्स ऑफ कॉलेज बल रादर This is bala, but kala ja bala is bala. What is bala? We have seen. Shukranta naam, dhatu naam, yat param, khalu, teja, ta doj. But the production, existence, and deterioration or whatever, that all depends on various factors. The deterioration of oja, oja vyapat. Everything or ojavruddhi, ojasthiti. Everything depends on various factors, and one of the factors is kala. And we have already considered oj is bala. So what are the kala j factors that contribute to plus or minus of the oj that is bala? We will see. You can see on the screen there are two. basic types of factors one is lokagata and other is purushagata what is this purushagata is the factors which contribute to kala ja bala and which are specific to the person or which are related to the specific personality or which can be developed or reduced or whatever things the person a singular person is contributing to his that kalaja bala and what is lokagata lokagata is the nature the srushti it is contributing in plus or minus of the bala of an individual द नेचर में एक्जर्ट बल और द नेचर में विड्रॉ बल दिस इज कॉल एज द टाइप दट इज काल जबल बट इट इज लोकगत विचार ना हो अगेन द पुरुषगत बल वील गो फॉर पुरुषगत बल यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन देर आर इज वय and they have written if there is the bal he is a sampurna bal you can see bal avay is a sampurna bal madhya bal is having bal that is optimized bal and atah param that is when you cross madhya avay the dhatu get deteriorated or they start getting deteriorated of course the last in uh, product of the dhatu gets affected and so the bala is he rather they have used a specific word he a man so they have indicated the process of getting deterioration 
so this is we are discussing kala jabala and now we have seen that there are two types of factors one is loka gata vichar and other is purusha gata vichar in purusha gata vichar first thing is why in loka gata vichar <coughs> you can see the ritu of course the ahoratra and the kalika ritu they contribute to the the bala is affected by the ritu which is outside entity of an individual the individual can't control that ritu so shifti is exerting bala or shifti is withdrawing bala from an individual in spite of his age sex whatever so how it affects we considered as there are six rutus and we classify them into adana kal and visarga kal adana kal is the srishti the lok withdrawing bala from the individual and visarga is srishti can we say donating no but it is exerting bala on the individual and again six rutus are divided into three rutus into adana kal and three rutus into visarga kal and again they have gradation so you can see and you can see on the screen they have given the logic as well so let us just recall kala jabala is kalaj kal making some impact positive or negative on the bal first thing we have seen bal in our context bal is prasadinam shukrantanam dhatunam tejah param tejah tatkhalu hoja tadeva bal it is in within our context fine another thing we saw is the kal the time frame making an impact on the bala of individual then we saw there are two factors or types of kala jabala one is related to that particular person and another is it's not within the uh, control of that person that is lokagat that is the srishti or the everything outside the person and we saw that the age of person again we have we means ayurveda have divided the age into bal madhya and vrudh so in bal way a sampurna sarvada the dhatus are not us they are a sampurna they are not complete so if they are not complete of course the bala will be at somewhat inferior level somewhat in madhya vaya the they dhatus get completeness so the bala is maximum and in vruddha vaya the dhatus start getting deterioration process ultimately the resultant is you can say cascading effect or whatever the effect resultant is or the impact indicator is what is the impact of kala vaya vayanurusu vayanurup kala on the bala is the indicator becomes the bala getting lesser and lesser or decreased another point we saw what is kala jab bala in lokagata avastha that is the rutus there are six rutus of course it is indian continent and there are they are divided into adana kal and visarga kal in adana kal the nature withdraws bala from an individual while in visarga kal nature gives 
or donates or contributes in positiveness of the body. And again, they have some inferior uh, plus minus shades, comparative superlative shades. Still, so these are the basic factors. Now, it comes. <coughs> how we can use or how what is the implication of this study of kalajabatu and here comes that temperature we have when we discussed uh, ayurveda we have rutu and vaya are the contributing factor but when it comes to sports they have their calendar divided into two one is competition uh, time non competition time or race time so when we discussed kala japada we have to consider first two factors priority and the this third application is comes naturally because we have to consider these two aspects that is lokagata uh, lokagata bala purushagata bala concept that is vaya and uh, uh, rutu and accordingly we have to intervene into ahara vihara aushadi we may have to increase the bala we may have to increase specific dhatu for specific sports we may have to decrease some dhatu for specific uh, uh, sports and again the third we can say axis comes into sports is their competition time and rest time let us discuss somewhat detail say a person is contributing in athletics say a young female of 14 years so naturally we have her madhya vay so a sampurna sarvadhatu and she is running some she is running some 400 meters so we have her framework that she is female so basically she is agnay she is a sampurna sarvadhatu so bala is somewhat lesser as compared to the madhya vay she is just 14 years so these are two factors and say if it is summer this of course the bala will be less if it is winter peak season of november december in maharashtra yes her will be, uh, will be bala will be highest now now when we consider these two aspects we can intervene in her ahar in her vihar and here aushad that is we may suggest her ahar accordingly if she is going uh, is a, a sampurna sarvadhatu and she is uh, running 400 meters sprint say 10 rounds so we can consider doshik vikalpana and accordingly we can suggest her uh, accordingly uh, to the rutus we can suggest uh, we can have shatrasa uh, uh, combinations and permutations of shatrasa accordingly but for sports person the lady or the girl she is having all together a different calendar for her that is taken granted that she has the kalaja bala um, as rutu and her age but she has a different calendar of competition and non competition or the rest period so here comes the third axis and accordingly we have to plan so we have to consider her age we have to consider the rutu but still even if it is summer and it is her competition time we will have to change a entire intervention of ahar vihar aushadi you can visualize i think we will see the details or we can discuss some cases after this finishing this concept level the uh, discussion i think you can visualize this 
the same lady or the same girl if she is having uh, there is a, say november december but she is not having any competition she is resting she is practicing but thirst is not on practice she has to just maintain her abilities so accordingly you will have to plan the ahara vihara and aushad so what is the implication of kalajabala for normal person we consider ahara vihara and aushadi to maintain the bala according to the vaya and the rutu of the of related to that concerned person and we follow rutu charya or we advise rutu charya we advocate rutu charya but when it comes to sports person they have their own calendar so we have to consider their calendar plus this one this uh, axis so we have x axis y y axis rutu and here comes third z axis that is competition time or rest time accordingly we have to plan the sports ahar uh, the uh, personal ahar vihar and aushadi i think this much is enough for today it may be slightly going somewhat at upper level because this is concept learn you will see the practicals of this thing or other practical modules of this thing how we have considered or how we have done or how i have suggested the some sports person accordingly in some other lectures thank you